I just have this files of my files. I have this Windows update. So I said, okay, let me, um, you know, restart the computer to update it. So I hit restart, I walk away, I come back. I see a blank screen. So now I don't know what's going on. So I say, okay, let me Google it. Really can't find anything. It could be motherboard, PSU, all this nonsense. Tried restarting to get it to go into a repair mode, but the monitor was blank. The keyboard and the mouse was off. And, you know, the only thing I could think of was that the BIOS, maybe something's up with the BIOS. So I turned off the power, reset the, unplug the plug, our PSU plug and I reset the CMOS I pressed the CMOS button on the back of the um, computer and once for 10 more like maybe 10 to 15 10, 10 to 15 seconds and and then I plugged it back in turned the power on I powered it back on and it loaded the defaults again once again for the EMD processor and then asked if you know, on load default or going to the BIOS, I said load default, and then it continued as you saw when I started filming to install those Windows updates, and now I brought a lot. So, <sighs> this is so dumb. Yeah, I don't care about Edge. I guess it's updating something still. That is some BS. That's BS. Get started. Sync to the no. Wow. So that sucks. So if you're having this issue um, with your new AMD, you might have to reset your BIOS or something. Or even if you have Intel and you get this issue, you might have to reset your BIOS. Um, yeah. All right. Good night. So there was another update also. I click download and install. So you see it's installing a feature version 20H2. So, you know, I'm not sure what um, nonsense um, Windows did, but um, yeah, it basically um, caused my computer to be not bootable essentially. It wasn't even getting to the BIOS, so. Um, has to do with something with this, uh, with these updates. But yeah, if you have blank screen, no keyboard, and you know, update the only reason I know I don't have the keyboard is because these are lit and they were off. Keyboard and mouse. So if you have a regular keyboard, then you might, uh, you might even realize they're not working. But I'm gonna let this finish installing restart and then go back into BIOS and set back up my BIOS how it was before. So this update is pretty big. Um, it's been like probably like 20 minutes or something. Luckily when it's downloaded and so and it restarted it didn't crash again so um, yeah let's see what happens with this. It's possible that the computer I think I read before somewhere it restarts so fast that um, could have probably triggered something, you know, <clears throat> and cause the, uh, the, I guess the speed or something caused Windows to crash or maybe not install something properly. But yeah, this is a big uh, update, so. So the Windows update is completed. I'm back in the BIOS. You can see that I had to reset the CMOS. I use the CMOS button on the back of the computer to reset the BIOS. And you can see it's back to um, having Game Boost on and the XMP off. So I have a feeling that maybe the BIOS, the Windows update might have affected the BIOS, I'm not sure. But if anybody's having this issue where you have a blank screen after a Windows update, you should try to, um, you know, if you don't have a BIOS uh, flash button, I'm not flash, uh, <clears throat> CMOS reset button, you're gonna have to probably use a jumper or something like that. And literally all I did was I had changed, turned Game Boost on, AXMP on, 
and I had updated the fan curves and um, that was it. That's all the settings I had changed in the BIOS. All right.